There's also this oleandrin thing that's going around right. now with uh, my pillow guy, Mike Lindell, thinks a lot of it. And I, I don't know if he says it can cure or if it's a treatment. I'm not sure. How, but- you're not saying that people should think for themselves. No, no. No, you shouldn't think for yourself. Okay. You should just listen to Democrats tell you that they're trying to kill you. Okay. That's what you should listen to. Uh, but Anderson Cooper, I mean, what was his deal the I other day? I don't know. I didn't understand this it. This happened a couple of days ago, and we just haven't gotten to it. But this is outrageous, this little exchange between Mike Lindell and Anderson Cooper. I am just telling so you, me, this is the answer. Wouldn't you want to save lives? Sir, this is what my heart is. I gave it to you, my friends and wow. family. You this really are like lives. a snake oil salesman. It I mean, this is, you, you could wow. be in the old west, standing on a box, telling people to drink your amazing no, elixir. I give the glory to God. No and I do what God. Wow. I do what Jesus has me do. I give the glory to God, and I want to help people. Jesus That's wants my you passion. Out there I'm not driven. I'm not money driven. Promoting remedies that are not remedies because they've never been tested. I am not money driven. And why would I? Just because it hasn't been tested doesn't mean it isn't a a remedy. It just means you haven't proven it yet to to be a remedy scientifically. It could it could have saved a lot of lives by now. What's wrong with free will? Yeah, making your own choices. I don't know. I I don't understand this. And those those evil snake oil salesmen Mm -hmm. uh, were you know they yes there were some that were selling you know bad products but many of them were just traveling helping people. Trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Do this. Ask yourself why I would ruin Money. my reputation if I didn't, if I didn't believe in this reputation. product. So he tells Mike Lindell, he doesn't have, why would I do this and ruin my reputation? You don't have a great rep- reputation. This is despicable. This is not journalism here. You don't have a great oh, really? reputation. Well, I mean, you know, you, that's, I mean, you if you say that, I'm, I'm going to pray, California, I'm gonna pray for you, from the Better Snell. Business Bureau. I, you're, you're in my prayers, Anderson, because they destroyed me when I went all in for this great president. That's what it was. I was so on the, the Better, Better Business, Business Bureau. Bureau of Minnesota I was up for their is going war. after you because you support Trump? I was up for their torture war, their yes. highest. Like, that's ridiculous? That's right. That's, Are yeah, you that's, kidding me? Yeah. Oh, There's a little naive comment from Anderson Cooper. Know, right, they're going to destroy you because you like Trump? Yeah. Yeah, the really. Yeah, they give right. to the best and then you, in the then they and as soon as I went all in for this president, as soon as I went all in for the president, the Better Business Bureau oh, lowered sir. me from an A plus to a D. That's you know, it is sad that they would. The companies do stuff for like man that who out there. That they, faith for you to lie like this is really extraordinary to me. The Better well, Business you, Bureau you know, looked at your I'll advertisement. I'll stand by the truth. Uh, let me I'll tell stand you by the truth, and that is the truth. I. That's despicable. That's despicable. From Anderson Cooper. I wonder how much money. I mean, Mike spends a lot of money on advertising uh, yeah. around the country. Yeah, he does. I'd be interested to see how much money he's actually spent on CNN. It might not be much. Might not be much anymore. If it, uh, I mean, I wouldn't spend a penny on I that know. stupid station again. Not, not one cent on it. Uh, that's incredible. The treatment he received. That went on for like twenty minutes. It was a, it was a long minutes. time. Mm-hmm. And it really didn't. I just didn't. It didn't feel like Anderson Cooper. I don't know what why what the no because he's he seemed way invested in his viewpoint. He there. sure did. He wasn't just looking for uh, the truth to come out. He wasn't trying to present a story. He had an agenda. He sure did. That he was trying to jam through. Wait and a minute, CNN. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. To an agenda. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Anderson usually. I, that's what I mean. You like to think that he's a little bit. Above the fray, he but certainly has pushed himself into that into that corner of he's above that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I, I I get it. He works for CNN, and he you know most of the time you know it's it's a little bit more sly than that from Anderson. And I just didn't understand the yeah he the, was the, the the hatred really serious. Uh, that was ugly.